Hi everybody and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Pluton security and privacy chipset. Th there is nothing good about Microsoft that I can say about it. So let's leave that to a side. But when they decide to team up with IMD to make the new IMD 6000 series, it really got me in a horrible mood was like somebody got a bucket of cold water with some ice cubes and just just drop on my head seriously it it really upset me because i was planning to buy but now i will not touch it not even if i was giving one for free i would refuse because for somebody that builds his own computers as myself and it takes a lot of pride on choosing each component that will be built on your computer or well in this case will be installed on your computer uh, you find it very hard to accept that a corporation wants to take control of your hardware with the excuse to make a better security and a better privacy friendly uh, that is a lot of mumbo jumbos and I don't believe it and anybody that built computers anybody that knows about operation system anybody that builds operation system knows that the issue here is Windows operation system itself and they cannot fix that issue and that they find another reason just to make money because this is all about money and that there are many reasons for that and for me to say that because let's say people who purchased two years ago laptops which can install any operation system are having problems installing windows 11 which i find quite funny because the windows beta which was leaked it can work in any computer but the official Windows 11 cannot. Well, Microsoft dictates what can or cannot be done. And that's a fact. And now, with the excuse, they want to control your hardware. So if they have already controlled your computer with the software side, with the hardware, it's another level. Literally speaking, the computer that you pay with your own money will be out of your control. Microsoft will dictate what you can do on that hardware. Does that sound okay with you? Well, not to me, because I left Windows 12 years ago and I found that Linux is what I want and what I need. Work-wise, for funny, pleasure, entertaining, it's perfect. I never got one virus, I never got any issues with uh, hacking, I never got any sort of problems that a normal Windows user encounters when they use Windows operation system. So, it's not the hardware issue, it is the operation system itself. Because if Linux doesn't have the same issues, why Windows has? Yeah. Now, some of these manufacturers, they say that, yes, it's going to come on our computers and so on. But, as you can read here, in all of this, but it will be disabled by default. Some uh, of the hardware manufacturer when it comes to that, like Intel and IMD, they're saying, well, we respect our users, so we will choose to get an option on a BIOS to do that. But in the end of the day is how far is safe to disable and to keep that security chip for Microsoft from working and to send data and receive data from your hardware. 
I don't know. I don't have one in hand to check that. And even if I had, I wouldn't even care, to be honest, because I don't want and I wouldn't recommend anybody to purchase. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy. I just don't recommend it. Simple. That's my opinion. I only, even if somebody comes to me saying, oh, here is one free for you, I will say, no, thank you. Just keep it to yourself because I don't believe that it is a solution or there is even a reason to do that and to accept that reason. And for my hardware, I want to have the full control. That's simple. So now, is there any other reason that may be the reason why Microsoft is doing that? Yes, there is. 20 years ago, if you guys can read here, 20 years ago, Microsoft did something very similar. And the reason for that is like this. Microsoft wants to control globally any computer. That is a fact everybody knows. So it's not really much to say about it. But 20 years ago, Microsoft acquired the Trusted Platform module. With that, they cut the wings of Linux. The ability for Linux to be incorporated already by standard like Windows, you go to a store and you purchase a laptop or a PC with Windows install. They completely block Linux from getting into that platform. That's why Linux is not being popular as Windows. That is one of the reasons, and you guys can see here. And the funny part is, this is what I heard and that I've seen and comments about people who are on this line that they go interview Microsoft, AMD, Intel to to know the facts. And what they say is Linux is currently unsupported scenario for Pluton. What does that mean? Well, if you purchase this CPU, APU, whatever you want to call it, and you install it, Microsoft can dictate, because Microsoft is a dictator, but Microsoft can dictate what operation systems should or should not be installed on that hardware. You purchase with your money, but they will say, no, you cannot. Yes, you can, maybe. So your computer literally is not yours no more because Microsoft will tell you what you should, should not do. That, that sounds right. That is something that you pay with your own money. You think about it. Is it worth it? To me, no, it's not. My biggest concern about this is one. Unfortunately, there are people who are biased in regards to, oh yeah, I'm gonna purchase, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna purchase, I'm gonna put my computer because this, because of that. They always find an excuse. But what you are doing is allowing Microsoft to make this as a rule from now on. Any CPU, APU, whatever will be installed with that. Will, do, will that make better for Linux? No. Will that make better for, for any other operation system? No. Will that make better for Windows? No because the issue is the operation system. And as you guys will see, there is a, a news in regards to Microsoft embracing Linux kernel, because the biggest issue of Microsoft is actually their kernel, because they are incompetent to build their own kernel. And you guys can stop the video and check that. And another one, let me see, is that probably Windows are actually using Linux kernel 
on Windows 11. But that is something that can be rumor, it can be true. But one thing I know for sure that is true. Windows and T kernel, it's a joke. And that is the reason why you guys, Windows users, suffer and have been suffering for many years. Because Windows, well, in this case, Microsoft is incompetent when it comes to build a good kernel to avoid any security issues like Linux. But Microsoft actually uses your privacy, wants your privacy. So it will never happen that you're using a Windows operation system and your privacy is safe. That is a fact. And believe it or not, it will remain like that. As a security, I don't know what Microsoft wants to do. I really don't care. But, well, I really don't care when it comes to Windows. But I do care when it affects my hardware or anything that may affect my hardware. And Linux, yes, I do care about that. And to be honest, I, I hope that the, the road that Microsoft is choosing to go will not affect Linux, but I believe it will affect. And it's going to be a bumpy road for Linux, I believe, but let's hope not. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.